What's up guys, Austin Numa here with MotionArray.com and today we're gonna to be covering masking right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro without having to leave the program, use plugins or presets of any kind. Now, masking is a very powerful tool that every editor should have a good command of and we're gonna show you some basics of things that you can do right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro with the masking tool. The two things we'll be covering in this tutorial will be cloning and mask tracking. Let's go ahead and dive in. All right, so I'm here inside Adobe Premiere Pro and I've got my first video file. We're going to be doing the cloning mask. So this is very simple. And just to show you how this was filmed, first off, you wanna make sure that you are on a tripod. It's gonna be very hard to mask two different pieces of footage where you have a lot of movement in camera, unless you're on a dolly, for example, which may work. For the most part, you're gonna to wanna to do this on sticks. So all I did here was I just walked into the frame. I stood around for a second and did some motions and I decided to give myself an Air 5. So we're gonna go ahead and pull this clip here into our timeline. So the next thing I did was simply walk to my next point, which is right here. And you wanna make sure there's a decent amount of distance, especially if there's an action in between. You don't ever want that action to intersect a certain point right here in the middle. So I'm gonna find the point where I give myself another Air 5. So let's say right about here. And there we go. Now we're gonna take these points. I'm gonna move this top one up. I'm gonna take these points here and grab just the video file. And now we're going to, while we have our top layer selected, go to your effect controls. Now we're gonna go under opacity, turn this to 50% so we can see the action underneath so we can make a really nice alignment on this Air 5. So let's see, that actually looks decent. This one's a little slow, so we'll see how that works. And that looks perfect. So I'm just gonna clip this top just to make this a little bit cleaner. We're gonna take this keyframe and delete that. So there's a couple of different tools up here that we can use for masking. We can create an ellipse mask, which will just create a nice ellipse right here in the center of our frame. I could also use a square mask, and that's just going to create a square right here in the middle of the frame. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna freehand this one. So we're gonna take this pin tool and we're going to draw around our actor. And we're going to also select inverted. And now we can see both of the characters in the same frame. Now you wanna make sure when you're doing this that none of your actions are intersecting this specific point. So you'll see here that my hand almost falls into it. So just to be sure, we're gonna add a point right here and then draw it out. And now we'll see if that intersects and it looks like we're good. So that is a basic cloning mask in Premiere Pro. So the next thing we'll be covering is actually mask tracking. So we're gonna take a mask and track it in real time in this certain space. And this is pretty useful if you're wanting to blur out faces or signs, addresses, license plates, things like that. So we're going to pretend that this right here is an address and we're gonna blur this out. So what we wanna do is bring this clip into our timeline and we're going to duplicate it by holding down Alt and dragging up. Now let's bring the cursor back to the beginning of the timeline to track the whole mask. With this top layer selected, we're gonna go over to opacity and grab the ellipse tool. So that makes an ellipse mask for us. We're gonna draw this around just the text here because we don't really want to grab anything else or confuse this. And since this is a nice solid color, there's a lot of depth here that it'll be able to track. So this looks fine. So now we would just simply select track selected mask forward and it will compute all the points in which it is moving around in this space. I'm gonna go ahead and fast forward through this part. All right, so the mask tracking has automatically created individual keyframes for every single movement, and you'll see that it's followed this entirely. This is a really great tool to use if you're having to mask something out. So what I wanna do with this mask, now that I've created it, is I'm gonna go over to my effects with this top layer selected, and I'm gonna type in mosaic. You'll find under stylized mosaic, we're gonna drag that onto our top layer, and I'm gonna go down, and you'll see that it's kind of created a nice little block, and if we just kinda of wanted to make this look a little bit more traditional, now it has masked out that one point. Now don't worry, if you need to expand your mask or for some reason it's not covering everything here, all we'd have to do is simply go to mask expansion and drag that out. Now it should be covering every point in this stop sign. That's it for this tutorial. If you're interested in learning more very powerful tools available to all editors right here inside Adobe Premiere Pro, I encourage you to check out some more tutorials here on motionarray.com. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.